Hey everybody, this is Jen Coombs from Time to Change to Jersey Style. We're in Bedminster, New Jersey. And we gotta do a, like a records request. And here's a map of Bedminster. And here's where is Trump National Golf Club is right here. They actually have a couple of golf clubs. That's a nice looking map too. Look, it was like hand done. Yeah, I want to do a, a public uh, Oprah request. Sure. Okay, do you know what this is for? I mean, do you have an... Yeah. Okay. You can go ahead and fill that out. Thank you. Okay. Do you have a pen? Yep. There's pens right here. If you want to have a seat, I can give you a clipboard if you want to... Like, it won't take me that long. Okay. She's just filling out an upper request die. She's oh. Set. Okay, I'm done. You all set? Yep. You want me to get it for you? Do you want to look at it? Yeah, sir. 
Hi there. Hi, how you doing? Okay. Okay, so we will respond to you through the, just through the email? Yes. Okay. Um, we just put a date on this of November 13th. Yes. Um, if I want anything, any records to the police department, do, do, do I do it through them or do, do I do it here? Um, so when you say payroll for the month of October. Yes. You want all, what, what exactly are you looking for? Payroll for the month of October. No, I understand. So you, for all employees, part-time, full-time. Yes. Okay. Um. Individual and department. Well, it's, it's all done by individual. Yeah, but I want the payroll for the department as well, too. I don't understand. You have department payrolls, correct? Um, all, yeah. my, all my payroll is done by department, okay? So I can... If you're asking me for payroll records, I can give it to you by individual with an, um, a lot of the information will be redacted. Anything okay. Anything that's personal. Yeah, that, I can understand, I understand that, but I want department payroll as well too. Okay, I don't know, I, I don't have it in that manner. Like I only have it by individual. I don't have a total per department. Then uh, you're looking for amounts. Yeah. Yes. How does each how does each department? Yeah. I mean, each department has people in it, right? Correct. But if I'm going to give you a listing of payroll for the month of October by employee, it would be uh, alphabetical by department. Okay. And then. Because yeah, I want to know like what department they work work in. In title. That's why I said. That's why I said I want department too. So for for an OPA request, I can only give you a copy of a record that I have. So I don't necessarily have the monthly payroll broken out by department that's readily available. But I, I would have to recreate that, and I don't have to do that for an OPA request to create a new document. Oh yeah, I understand that. So how do they determine payroll for each department? The I know there has to be some sort of no, documentation. No, so I'm, I'm thinking it through. Um, can you ask Debbie to come out? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, there has to be some sort of documentation somewhere. So what I'm trying to help you do is, yeah. is ask for the specific document that you require. And okay. I just want to make sure that I have that type of document to give you. Okay. I may or may not have exactly what you're looking for. So I'm okay. going to ask my CFO to come out. No problem. And answer that for you. Because I know under the Oprah law, you're, I'm allowed to get the title of each um, of each um, employee as well. Correct, but not their personal information. Correct. Because on the on the payroll document, it has social security yeah, numbers I, yeah. and I, I'm not, birthdays yeah. and all that. Yeah, I'm not looking for that. So I have um, someone requesting a, an Oprah request, but they're asking me for for payroll for the month of October. Okay. So if we did a printout of our payroll for the month of October, it would have the individuals listed. We would have to redact some of their personal information, mm -hmm. correct? Right. Um, but then she's asking, can we provide it by department? Um, and I don't know that that's necessarily a document that we have readily available. And we don't have to create a new document. Is what I'm correct. Saying. Yeah, I'm not. So the way we get it from, from the payroll department it's, that we put in our register is listed I, alphabetical the, by the regis The register comes out in by departments. It does, but does it say what that department is? Probably not. No. Like I know, yeah, like it starts with administration because me and Diane are first and then it ends with part-time people at right, the end. Right. But it doesn't necessarily no. say at the top of each page that I this know, is administration. I know, like on Oprah, we're allowed to ask what department, how long they're here, with the like how much they get paid and all that stuff. That's why I'm asked. 
That's why I'm asking the department as well, too. So, you're it's asking me just it, for it, the it, month it, of October. It, it, do you do you want? I can give you a resolution from the township that has all employees listed and their annual salary. Yeah, but I want as of October. Well, it's a, the, the resolution will be effective for this whole year. For the whole year. I don't want it for the whole year because you might have an, a, an employee that came, that started working in September mm -hmm. and that that person won't be within the payroll. Okay. From, from like, two, like two months ago. Now also with the payroll on those documents have, are listed, I'll give example for our police department, have all their overtime and will have any off-duty jobs that they may have done it would have been through the township. So that will show you a year-to-date number that's not their salary. Okay. I mean, so I, I'm just trying to determine what it is you're really looking for that I can give you the documents that are most responsive. Yeah, I just want like I just want the payroll for the October and I uh, in like in their title, that's it. I don't really have the title on there either. No. Salary resolution has I can give you the salary resolution that has all the people's names and what they do. And then you and then you can re cross reference it with the report that'll okay. have their name. Okay. If that's sufficient. Yeah. Those are two documents we have. Right. Yeah, I know there's like somewhere within the doc. I know you guys like somewhere within the documentation. Right. right. Because you would have I to reference your, yourself yeah. from one document to the other. Correct. Right. Now, yeah, and the way it's print, print out comes, it's by department, but it doesn't necessarily say this is administration, no. this is police, this is public works. It doesn't doesn't list that, but you'd have to reference it back to the resolution to show that who that person worked for. So let's say Michael Smith works for Public Public Works. Um, how how is that will be listed within? He'll be in the Public Works section section of the report, but it's not labeled Public Works. But if you find that person's name on the salary resolution, I believe the salary that's, resolution will show public. So that's what I mean. Would say DPW. That's for the whole year, but if someone gets hired in uh, in September. That person won't be on that list. They will be if she put, if you have because whenever you hire somebody, you do a resolution for them, correct? Yeah, but then I have to go search all the different resolutions we did hire everybody. So I'm trying to get the, the the get the current current information, not from like the beginning of the year. Well, the October would have the current information. Yeah. Um. But Michael Smith won't be listed as... Well, he'll still be... It, okay, so if I give you the resolution that shows all my employees as of when that resolution was done, which was probably April uh, or May, um, and we hired someone since that time, um, they would still be in the section of the report for that department, which you would be able to actually, reference back. Yeah, but actually under the OBRA, I'm, I'm entitled for like the, the title in, in everything else. If we have a document, if that we have such has a document, that information has that information in one document. I'm trying to think what report I have that has all that information. Um, I mean, I can I can show you this, this section like within the OPRA. It says that we're allowed to have that information. What What about that? What is it? ACA compliance. I know the payroll company had to put together a report for Trina to submit to uh, employee. Uh, Benefits Express that has a lot of information on that. I'm not sure what it has on there. Let me ask Elaine. Yeah, uh, but that was as of December last year. Right. We didn't do one yet for this year. No. no. I'm just trying to. I, I, I understand. Think what we have that's going to give you what you what you're looking for. I mean, most of the people would be on that list, with the exception of any new hires this year. And that's my concern right there, right. but it won't be... I mean, we only... Look how many new hires do we have this year? And we're not talking a lot of people. So, so, based on what Debbie's saying, we can give you the, the report that has, as of October 31st, all the payroll. 
they are listed by department each page if you reference the resolution it'll show you you know certain people uh, what department they're in okay and then I can also give you a copy of any resolution of newly added people since that time okay does that get you where you need to be whatever it's easiest for you guys I'm not trying to make it okay so um, so if you could give me the October mm -hmm. through October 31st payroll register mm -hmm. we have to redact any personal information yeah I don't want that no yeah that might take us a few minutes That's is this is this something you could come back for or are you I you rather be email email we can email it to you yeah. is that okay yes yeah I, this might take us a little bit to redact That's fine. The information um, I do this all the time, so. But no, no, I'm just, and yeah. then um, I'll I'll pull all the resolutions of newly hired individuals right. since you know with the first salary resolution, and then anybody hired since that time, so you have a complete list. Okay. Of the employees. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Okay, and then this is just um, the email address that I would send it to. Yes. Okay. So with seven days, I mean, hopefully seven we're, business days. Seven days. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get it to you before that time. But I'm just, just to be sure. Um, we're talking November thirteenth. One, two, three, four. If I want like the twenty second. Okay. If I want CAD reports for the police department, do it, do it here or do I do it over there? You would need to submit an open request to them. Okay. As, and um, the secretary at the office okay each town is different that's why I'm yeah. asking I mean I ultimately I'm responsible and she she files a copy of anything she she hands out okay but um, it would be easiest yeah, no. if you submitted it to her you, okay. can, you can take that over and Allison is at the, the front you know go to the next building over the door on the right is police she's there and she's certainly familiar with open requests okay so thank can, you I appreciate it yeah. okay thank you all right so um, I'll do my part and do you get like a lot of Oprah requests regarding Trump? Every day. Every day. I'm working on one right now. Let's see the boxes out. I'm searching through it. Takes up so much time. So. I feel bad for you guys. Yeah. So. Thank um, you. Okay, so I think we've got what, yes. what you want. Yeah. Okay. Thank we'll, you. We'll get on that and get that to you as soon as we can. Okay, thank you. Alright. Uh this is Jed Coombs from Time to Change Jersey Style. I'll be safe out there. See you on the flip side, everybody. Be safe.